Recently, one of my older videos, my super simple coffee ice cream, got picked up by a blog and suddenly all sorts of new people were coming in checking it out and sending requests for more ice cream recipes, particularly a certain type of ice cream recipe. So I'm making it today. Let's make my super simple strawberry ice cream on the One Pot Chef. First things first, let's work on our strawberries. I've got about 500 grams of lovely fresh ripe strawberries which I've just roughly chopped up and I've got them in the blender. Now you can use a blender or food processor, we're just going to blitz them up until they are nice and pureed. <laughs> Now that's not absolutely perfectly smooth, in fact it's actually better if it's not. That way when you're actually eating your ice cream you get that nice little burst of extra strawberryness when you get a nice little nugget of strawberry fruit in there. It makes it that much nicer. So we can set that aside while we work on the rest of our ingredients. In a large mixing bowl I've got 600 millilitres of whipping cream, that's any cream suitable for whipping, and to that I've got a 400 gram can of sweetened condensed milk which I'm just going to put in half a can. That way we won't make this too sweet because we've got lots of lovely strawberries going in and that's going to make this extra sweet. Sweetened condensed milk is a great shortcut when making these kinds of ice creams because it helps to keep the ice cream nice and thick without having to add any kind of eggs or making a custard beforehand. It's just, it's a great shortcut. Now all we need to do is beat the cream and the sweetened condensed milk together until we get nice soft peaks. <laughs> Perfect. Look at those lovely soft peaks there and our cream mixture has more than doubled in volume because we've beaten all that air into the cream mixture. Right, let's make some strawberry ice cream. Pour in our strawberry puree and we're just going to carefully fold the strawberry mixture into the cream mixture. So we just scrape to the bottom, lift to the top, scrape to the bottom, lift to the top. We're doing it this way because we don't want to knock too much of the air out of the cream otherwise we'll end up with less ice cream. So just gently mixing it bit by bit until it's integrated. Look at how lovely and pink that is with little chunks of strawberry all through it. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Carefully transfer the ice cream mixture into a freezer safe container. We don't want to knock any air out of the mixture like I said before. And it's good if your lid has some kind of airtight lid. That way we don't get too many ice crystals on this one. And all that's left to do is to put the lid on and pop this into the freezer for at least four to six hours, preferably overnight, or until the ice cream is scoopable. While our strawberry ice cream is setting in the freezer, I just thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. It's been about six hours, so let's take a look at our ice cream. Lovely. All right, let's give this a test scoop. Beautiful. And here we have our completed super simple strawberry ice cream. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see those chunks of real strawberry all through it. And it's quite warm today, so the ice cream's starting to melt. So I better get in and have a taste. That's looking absolutely gorgeous. It's quickly melting, so I'd better grab a mouthful while I can. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you definitely taste the strawberry in that. You've got those lovely little chunks of strawberry all through it. It's creamy. It's not too sweet. Most of the sweetness comes from the strawberries instead of the condensed milk. And it's really, really nice. It's not icy like a lot of homemade ice creams. This one's really creamy and it's really smooth. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. If you're not a fan of strawberry, you could use other berries if you like. You could use raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. You could also use other fruit. You could use mango. You could use pawpaw. You could use pretty much anything you like. As long as it's pureed up, you're going to have a great ice cream.